friends, this is Casey at the Bodie's Homestead, and in today's video I'm bringing you an article, American Foods That Are Banned Abroad and How They Can Impact Your Health. Now some of these foods that we're going to discuss aren't necessarily foods you're going to find in your prepper pantry, but they give a good example of some of the things that are allowed in our food for those of us who want to put things back, start eating clean, start prepping clean, and focusing on the ingredients that are listed on the labels of the food that we are putting back to feed our family during an emergency or an SHTF situation. What if someone told you the plate of food you just devoured was filled with the same chemicals used to make yoga mats, preservatives found in wax food packaging, and a major component of rat poisoning? Yeah, not too appetizing. Unfortunately for those living in the United States, that's the reality of what just went into your stomach. While unnaturally dyed foods and hormone-packed meats are the norm in the U.S. and not something most people think twice about, many of the foods Americans eat on a daily, on the daily are actually banned in countries across the, across the globe. While the dairy industry is having a hissy fit over almond milk trying to call itself milk, there are bigger problems being ignored, like why the U.S. milk is banned throughout the entire European Union and Canada because the milk in those cartons may be danger to human health. That almond milk certainly sounds more appealing now, doesn't it? But you head to the grocery store, I'm sorry, before you head to the grocery store, get to know the foods commonly sold in the U.S. and other countries that are working hard to protect their citizens from. It might make you rethink the way you shop. Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew has been promoting an extreme wild lifestyle since the initial release. Yeah, sipping on it's pretty crazy considering the beverage contains brominated vegetable oil, a food additive that is used in some citrus sodas. According to the Mayo Clinic, bromine, one of its key ingredients, can irritate the skin and mucous membranes as well as cause headaches, memory loss, and impaired balance and coordination. That's exactly why you won't find Mountain Dew or caffeine-free sundrop in the European Union, India, and Japan. Post Honey Made S'mores Pouring yourself a bowl of cereal like post honey made s'mores in the U.S. might not taste super different than doing so elsewhere, but there are some hidden dangers within those distractingly colorful boxes, and this is most cereals. Some of the cereals in the U.S. cereal aisle also contain the preservative butylated hydro oxytuline <laughs> it's bht everybody you know well not everybody but people who often have a little bit more knowledge about what's in their food knows what bht is it's a preservative and it's very very bad and because of that they can't be sold in any other countries around the world bht is banned in the uk australia new zealand japan and much of europe because it is thought to be a human carcinogen which is a harmful hormone altering chemical Thankfully, many cereal manufacturers like General Mills and Kellogg's have pledged to find alternative to this additive and been steadily removing it from their product formulations. Now, I will say, if you go to the grocery store right now, you are going to find a lot of cereals with BHT in it, even still General Mills and Kellogg's. Now, they have decided that they are going to start taking BHT out, and they have been working on it for the past few years, but the majority of processed cereal does have BHT in it, alongside many other things like high fructose corn syrup and um, other preservatives and artificial colorings. Skittles. Kids in the U.S. grew up eating Skittles. However, they contain the artificial colors Yellow 5 and Yellow 6, along with many other foods in the U.S., such as crackers, chips, and drinks. They are banned in Norway and Sweden because they're thought to cause allergic reactions, as well as hyperactivity in children, as explained by the Center of Science and Public Interest. While they're not banned in the European Union, they're made using colors that occur naturally in fruits and vegetables and spices, like turmeric. Products that do contain yellow 5 and yellow 6 must be labeled with a phrase, may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. Now, that is not just yellow 5 and yellow 6. You can also have blue 2, red 40, um, yellow 5, yellow 6, and I believe there, it's also red number 1. Um, all of those chemicals, uh, or I'm sorry, all of those artificial colorings are absolutely toxic to children. Um it's crazy how they didn't 
do a little more with red 40 because that's actually the most dangerous one anything that is cherry strawberry watermelon any of those flavors is guaranteed to have red 40 in it all the candy all the cereals soda anything that uh, eat crackers chips drinks anything that um is appealing to children and is red they want that popping red color to grab your attention and they want that you know yellow the you know even like orange or pink items like starburst um they use artificial coloring something you may not know here in the united states they allow the use of red 40 to artificially dye your salmon so that your salmon retains that beautiful red color and looks appealing Okay, back on track. RBGH or RBST milk. If you drink milk on the regular, antibiotics aren't the only thing you should be worried about. Milk in the U.S. also contains the growth hormone RBGH, which also goes by RS RBST, a synthetic man-made growth hormone that's used to increase milk production in dairy cows. Unless your milk is organic or says does not contain RBGH or RBST, you're drinking milk that's banned in the European Union, Canada, and all other countries due to its potential effects on human health, including an increase an increase Increased risk of cancer, says the American Cancer Society. Luckily, your risking of ingesting the hormone is decreasing, as only 9.7% of U.S. dairy operations were using RBGH, according to a 2014 report by the USDA. M&Ms. Since Europe is much more strict over the ingredients in the food than the U.S., it's no surprise that some of the products are different depending on where you buy them. While M&Ms in the U.S. are made using artificial colors, they're still sold in Europe where there's a ban or warnings against those additives, but only because the batches across the pond are made using natural colors instead. After a 2014 petition for Mars Incorporated to give the U.S. the same quality ingredients in M&Ms as Europe, the company said it would stop using artificial dyes, although that still hasn't happened. Now, if you're looking for a source of M&Ms because your children enjoy them or maybe you're trying to eat clean, AzureStandard.com, it's a bulk, organic, non-GMO um, corporation that ships all across the United States. They have M&Ms that are like called something different, obviously, because they can't call them M&Ms. And they are um, a little bit different in color. They're still vibrant and beautiful. Um, they're delicious and cookies and things like that. They are made with no artificial coloring and no high fructose corn syrup or anything like that. They are delicious and I would absolutely give them a try. And they're very affordable. Bread products. While not all bread products are bad, unfortunately some of them, like Jimmy Dean Delight's turkey sausage, egg and cheese, honey wheat flatbread, and Pillsbury breadsticks, contain azodiacarbonamide, the chemical compound that's usually actually used to make yoga mats and shoe soles. Not too appetizing, huh? It's also found in packaged baked goods and bread as a whitening agent and dough conditioner in a bread and cereal and flour. While the FDA still allows it to be used in numerous foods in the U.S., you won't find it in Europe or Australia. It's been likely it's been linked to respiratory problems and other health issues. In Singapore, using it could get you fined four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and put in jail for up to fifteen years. Chlorine washed chicken. Have you? Having your chicken washed in chlorine before getting it to your plate probably doesn't sound too appetizing, huh? The European Union sure doesn't think so. The EU has a long-standing ban on chicken that's been washed in chlorine since 1997. Yet many chicken companies in the United States still use chlorinated water bath rinses and mists as antimicrobial treatment to kill bacteria. In fact, chlorine washed chicken is back in the news recently with the Brexit trade negotiations as the U.S. attempts to convince the U.K. to scrap regulations that distort agricultural markets to the detriment, including allowing the sale of chlorine chicken in the UK. I hope that they never do it. Instant mashed potatoes. The next time you go for another serving of instant mashed potatoes, like Hungry Jack mashed potatoes, just know they are also getting a side of butylated hydroxinazole, BHA. It's another preservative similar to BHT that can be found in everything from cereal and potato chips to chewing gum and beer. But considering it's also rubber and food wax packaging, it doesn't seem like anything you'd want to be putting in your body. While it's commonly used in the U.S., it has been banned in the European Union, Japan, Australia, and other countries for potentially being a human carcinogen. U.S. pork products. There's a reason why pigs in the U.S. get super big and super fast. 
even though 160 nations, including the European Union, Russia, and China, have banned the use of drug ractopamine, the U.S. pork industry still uses it in the majority of its pigs. Literally, if you're not buying organic, U.S. pork will absolutely make you sick. Um, the drug is thought to... Um, affect the cardiovascular system it causes hyperactivity behavioral changes elevated heart rates and heart pounding sensations do not eat pork products in the united states unless you're buying organic or local from a farm u.s bread rolls and buns this is going to be the same as uh, the other it's got potassium bromate azodia carbonamide these are all linked to cancer there are chemicals um, and they're in literally every single bread product at the grocery store, uh, especially places like Walmart, Safeway, Aldi. You really have to um, search when you're trying to find clean bread products. U.S. beef. Don't expect to see hormone-grown beef from the U.S. sold in the European Union anytime soon. The European Commission's Scientific Committee on Veterinary Measures found the synthetic hormones used to promote growth in cattle which includes xeranol, tremboline acetate, and melagestrol acetate, can increase the risk of breast cancer and prostate cancer. Basically, if the meat comes from the U.S., the rest of the world wants nothing to do with it. And while federal regulations prohibit the use of hormones in raising pork and poultry, the same can be said for beef. To avoid growth hormones in your food, look for the organic seal, which prohibits the administration of growth growth promoting hormones or cattle or maybe it's time for you to stop eating it keep in mind that when you put these things on the shelf the beef in the can the chicken in the can the poultry in the can you know things like that um that's not any different all this crap is still in there you know what i'm saying so i'm not saying you have to shop everything organic but go to the sources that are non-gmo check out azurestandard.com i cannot recommend them highly enough their food is affordable and it is clean i would consider checking trader joe's sprouts you know uh grocery stores that have a lot of organic food that might have a non-gmo section that's more affordable buy in bulk when you can and when you're prepping your pantry You've got to pay attention if you're trying to eat clean because they hide this crap in everything. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.